Hello there, Sagittarius. My Saggies, I don't know what's going on here. I tried to do your reading a couple times. What is this energy? There's some kind of energy in the air that feels like it's been very hard to get through. I guess there must be something going on. I don't know. But this is your monthly you versus them reading. So if you have someone in mind, someone you want to know about, someone you're thinking about, this reading is for you. If you do not, and you definitely do not want to be with a person, please don't write that in the comment. You shouldn't be watching this reading then. This is only if you really want to know about someone because they're into you, you're into them. That was the type of energy. Okay, so we're doing this a little different. And um, I like it. Okay, my guys wanted me to do this a little different. They said, let's do it this way. So this is your side as usual. This is your person's side, the person you think about. And in the middle is the mutual energy I always do. But I'm going to do it with each placement. So when I start with first seeing what kind of energy you're in right now, what kind of energy they're in, and then the mutual energy. So this, I like the way this, I like this. I like this a lot. I hope you do too. Now, let's start with your energy. And if I can't do it this time, I'm stopping today. <laughs> I, just, I can't keep on doing it. It just feels like I'm, I'm fighting against the, a wave or something. I don't know. So anyway, let's see about your energy, your current energy, Saggy. Okay, these are stuck, so I'm taking them. Okay, we have, you're coming out with your card, so your energy is very strong here. But you're worried about something. Okay, so you might, oh, wow. I get you're worried about actually being yourself. Are you worried about showing your true self for someone? Okay, let's see what else we get here. Oh, well, we got the Two of Cups and this one to fall too. Oh, so we have here, this is a King of Swords. Hmm. There is a connection that you might be interested in here, or you might be in this connection already. Because this is your current um, energy. But there's something you're worried about with this connection. It also feels like you're getting the strength. Or trying to get the strength, I should say. Because I feel like you're fighting with this. To speak your truth. To be in your truth. It's almost like, I need to be in my truth. But, you're, you're having a hard time balancing things out to make this work. Okay, let me get a charm on the King of Swords here. I mean, you could be dealing with a King of Swords too, but I do feel like it's your energy from, oh, it's something to do with the fears of the heart here. We have a, here's my little, where's my little doohickey here? Where is it? Oh, jeez. I don't know where my, well, I guess I could put on, what the hell happened to it? Okay, I'll put it on here. You can see it this way. It's a little key, but it's like a heart shape. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. Oh, did I drop this? Oh, here it is. Okay, see? I keep these just for this. Where's my key? So I can show you. I like to show you everything. See, I'm a very visual person, so I like to see, so I like to show you. Okay, so we're going to leave that there for now. And go over to your, this person's side and see what they're currently dealing with. What is going on with them at the time? At this time. Okay, so they are moving on from something. Oh, they, they might be making a decision here to move on from something. Making a judgment call? Okay. So they're in the process of moving. They might actually be relocating or thinking about it. They're trying to decide what to do here, I think. We'll see when I get another card. Right now, it's like moving on from an energy or moving on from a situation or needing to move on from something. Oh, oh, oh okay, what we got here? Whoa, well, this is, this is the Ace of Pentacles. So, they might be making a judgment call about their finances, about their business, about something they're doing here. Should they stay in something or should they move on from it, maybe? Okay, let's see what your mutual energies are. At this time being. 
you're both at crossroads. Isn't that interesting? And that's what it seems like. You're both, and you might be dealing with different circumstances, different things you're dealing with, but you're both at that same energy. Okay, I have to make a decision here. Okay. It's weird how the the camera keeps on going in and out. It's like almost like it's pulsating here. Okay, so now let's see. Let's look at this first card for you. Your card, your energy. Okay, let's see what you're doing with that. So we have here, ooh, so we have here the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Interesting. It feels like you want to have a, a honest talk with someone. And I'm going to say you're the Queen of Swords. So this King of Swords here, I think, is a person that you want to talk to. You need to express yourself, open up about your, something here. Um, this could be anyone, the King of Swords. I mean, this could be someone you're interested in romantically. This could be a friend. This could be uh, someone at work. This could be your father. You know, it could be any energy here, but it feels like something you need to express. So let me get a charm on the Queen of Swords. Okay, we have perfume. Hmm. Are you thinking of giving someone perfume? Did someone give you perfume? Um, something about a scent? Okay, I don't know. I'm going to leave that there for now. Let's look about this Nine of Swords. This is stressing out, not sleeping, anxiety about something here. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so we're talking love. Okay, and what about the Two of Cups? This is a soulmate connection, a partnership, uh, a choice. Two are always decisions, too. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, this is to get a message to someone. You might be thinking of um, reaching out to someone. And for this King of Swords, so we get on that. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I think you want to open your heart to someone. You might be really thinking about settling down, marriage. So, yeah, so it feels like... Now, you could be dealing with an air sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be just that you want to have a, a deep, honest talk with someone. Okay, let's get the, um, the words on the Queen of Swords first. Is it love, jealousy? Oh... Okay, so maybe you're feeling someone's jealous or you're feeling you feel jealous. You want to know, is it love or is it or is it jealousy has something to do with this? You feel conflicted. Okay, now let's see about the King of Swords. So you do want to open up to this person because you're talking about commitment here. You might be jealous of maybe someone around them. We have, oh, obsessed, admitted, likely. Oh, you both might be feeling this energy. Okay. So they're coming across as they're most likely obsessed with you. And maybe they're coming showing you some jealousy. Or maybe if you're feeling jealousy towards them and they're feeling obsessed <laughs> towards you. Take it how it might resonate. Okay? Now let's go to clarify their side. So we're starting out with their, they're looking at moving on from something. Leaving something. Need to change something. They might actually be wanting to relocate, maybe. And we have here... Yeah, th this could be for work, or they need to collaborate with someone. They might need to leave something in order to collaborate with someone or work on something here. Okay, now for this card here. The Judgment, right? Let's see. It's kind of like it doesn't really want to... Okay, let's see. Now we got one. We have the Hermit. Okay. I think this person's doing some heavy-duty thinking here. Trying to figure something out. Because it has something to do with their money here. 
I don't, maybe they're collaborating with, there might be at the crossroads trying to figure out if they should collaborate with someone or do something on their own. I don't know if this person is currently working on their own or if they're working, it could be different for everyone. Someone could be on their own wanting to maybe say, maybe I should team up with someone or it could be saying that they are working and maybe they should do go solo or something. Let's see about this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Are they afraid that if they do something? I don't know. The person is afraid to make a move because they're afraid they might lose everything or be left out somehow. I take it if it resonates. It might be for your the person you're thinking about. It might not, too. So it is a general reading. Let's go on to... That was just trying to get the general energy of what's going on in your life. So now let's go into the good stuff to find out what are you thinking about when you think about them? What are your thoughts about them? Now, this is your thoughts. doesn't mean that it's true. It means what you're thinking here. Because we can have active imagination. Okay, you're thinking that something's moving very quick. Look at these two sevens. We have the seven of sorts. This is seven, right? Or five. No, it's a five, sorry. Seven and five. Okay, your thoughts are... Something's happening here, maybe quickly, but it has something to do with other energies. I don't know if you're aware of what's going on in this person's life at this time, but it feels like there's some kind of conflicting energies. They might be going through something. Maybe they told you. Maybe you're talking to them. Maybe you're not. Or maybe you're just feeling it. That could be. But we do have here the Six of Wands. Okay, it feels like your thoughts are this person's fighting with someone here for a victory. Or to get recognized or to get understood or to um, to get their point across is what I'm feeling. Like this person's moving quickly to like, it's like you don't understand me. You, I don't know who they're talking to or who they're fighting with. But it feels like they're in conflict about being recognized or being heard okay let's see let's go on to how this person thinks about you what's going on with you here okay they see you as maybe taking a leap of faith having a it almost feels like they see you as being very carefree and they wish they could be that way it's like you're a little more um trustworthy of taking a this person's a little more like afraid to make a move you're more um coming across as wanting to make a move is that it you could reverse this though you know depends on how this feels I, for some of you it might be a reverse but this is this person's thinking about you ah and they also might be seeing you as the high priestess Or their secrets. Okay. Needing to keep something secret. Needing to maybe start a new start. Keep a secret. Okay. They also see. Now here. That is interesting. They see you waiting though. They see that. Um, it's like you want this start. Okay. See again. This energy is getting confusing for me. I don't know what it is. It's, unless it's just the energy in the air. Or just what, what's going on with people. But it feels like I start getting a reading. And then all of a sudden it feels like there's contradictions. Or it's going back and forth. And I'm like. Ugh. I think I'm just trying to finish this one. Because maybe that's what meant to come out here. Alright. We have th the three major arcanas here. So this is something. You know that the universe is doing here. Um. It's a very strong energy of someone's intuition. Or maybe they're developing their intuition. And they're stepping back. You, This person might be seeing you. I'm saying them. But th and this is how their thoughts about you. They might be seeing you as trying to start something new. As far as maybe with your intuition. But being a little hesitant. Um, and waiting. Gaining a perspective. It's like almost like you want. they see you as wanting to start this. But stepping back. Let's see what your mutual energies are here. I don't think I ever had such a hard time with readings as I am with the energy right now. You know, it's like tough. 
Oof. When I started doing these readings, like, what the heck? We have happiness. Okay, when you guys think about each other, you both are very happy. It's like, okay, I, I so they show me a smile on the face. And when either one of you think about the other, you both get this little smile that creeps up. So that's nice. Okay, now. Let's see about this chariot, cancer energy. So your thoughts about them is to that they're going to move quickly or something's moving quickly or maybe maybe you're even thinking to move quickly towards them let's see but there's conflict there's there's um something in the way here ah we have a tower okay your thoughts are if you move too fast this would cause a tower and you're not sure which way this tower will fall. I mean, after the tower comes down, we do get the star. But it might fall the wrong way and, and collapse something, too. It might fall on something and break something that you don't want broken here. We have Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Okay, why do we have the Five of Swords here? Okay, your thoughts are this conflict, this interfering party, because it almost feels like it's an interfering party, needs to come to an end, and then things will be better. So I don't know. You, that's why you might be stepping back, trying to let it play out on its own. Okay, so let's see about the Six of Wands. This getting recognized, getting recognition, standing out. Let's see. I know you want an end to this conflict, though. We have here, ooh, your thoughts are you ready to fight for this? And you might be seeing this person as your queen of pentacles. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be anyone, but someone that is very nurturing and very, um, it feels like comfortable as far as, um, with the material world, it's like they're not overly obsessive about material stuff or... They're not um, greedy, but they're, they know how, they're stable, they're reliable. They're someone that you know that you can trust in that sense. Okay. Let me get a charm on this queen or pentacle. Could be any sign though, a male or female. We, okay, Pegasus, good news. Okay. I feel like you feel like standing up for this connection. To fight for this connection. Okay, we have here. Sincere. Confess. Money. Okay, so maybe your thoughts are to be sincere. Sincere. Why did I say sincere? That's weird. Um, to be sincere. And to confess something about money here. Are you holding back something about money? Or... Mm, Okay, let me get a clarifier on the money. A loan. Is someone wanting a loan from you? I didn't expect that. Or are you wanting to ask this person for a loan? Okay, that definitely is not going to be for everyone. Okay, let's go over and clarify this side. So their thoughts about you is maybe wanting a new beginning with you or that you are taking a leap of faith. Uh, let's see here. But the... Hmm. Okay. Interesting how it's all major, so... Let's see here. Oh, healing. Look at this. Okay. Thoughts of probably trying to start something, heal something after maybe some kind of pain and suffering. Someone might feel really tired and maybe someone's taking a break or a vacation or... It's either your thoughts about doing that with this person, or maybe they're, you're thinking they're going to do that, or maybe you need to do I don't know. This is like, go either way with this. Now, with this Four of Swords, there's a healing taking place. I think someone needs to speak their truth about a third party or interference here. Okay, let's see about this High Priestess.
Mm, I guess I have to take the two, don't I? Okay, so we have the sun and we have the tower. Whoa. Something. Oh my gosh. Now, the high priestess could be hiding something. This also could be someone's very strong intuition here. A knowing. So this person, maybe you're thinking this person knows that this tower is coming. And this might be, you're both thinking about this. This is going to cause a tower. Or something coming to light might cause a tower. So that's what might be on your thoughts. Aries, Scorpio, energy of tower. Leo with the sun. Um, Virgo, Cancer with the high priestess. But look at these majors. So far, we have all majors except for this card, which is talking about healing from a third party. Very interesting. So is something coming out here? Something that's come, come to light that's probably going to be very shocking. I think you're both thinking, so now we both have the tower on both sides. You're both thinking that something shocking is going to be coming out. Okay, let's see. But waiting here with the hangman. Let's see what we get on that. Ah, at a crossroads, not sure what to do. And you know, here we have the two of swords. Because someone doesn't see everything. See, there's, it almost feels like they're seeing things through their third eye. But you're not seeing things as far as showing something in the physical. But someone is seeing something through their intuition, through their third eye. And this is this person over here. Is probably um, their thoughts about what's happening. Or they also could be their thoughts about you. You, know, you guys, it's going to be different for different people. Okay. So now, let's move on to feelings. Okay. Let's look at your feelings towards them. Okay. Ooh, we have another tower and the devil. Oh, you, this, okay. Capricorn energy, Aries Scorpio energy. Your feelings are, I think, very intense. Um, I don't know. I mean, if we have the obsessed, we have jealousy here. There might be a very strong sexual attraction here. I, I almost want to say it's like a lust. So let's see. Surprising. Because we have the tower. But we have the moon. Are you hiding this? And we have the emperor. I almost feel like your feelings are that, that you have a very strong desire for this person. But you're keeping it quiet or it's this could be something to do with your intuition the moon or keeping secrets pisces energy um aries energy with the um emperor trying to i think you're trying to keep control over yourself here wow <laughs> okay let's see let's go to their feelings towards you So we have here, okay, we have Justice and we have the Eight of Swords. This person's feeling trapped. Maybe it's do the right thing to, to do to do right by you or do right in this situation. But um, they also, they're stuck in their head about how to do this or some reason they have the Eight of Swords. And then with the Justice, also could be they want a contract. So maybe they want marriage, they want commitment. Or they're in the head about a contract here. I don't know. There's something about a contract. And then we have here the Page of Swords. Well, this person's doing a lot of thinking, a lot of trying to figure something out. They're in their head a lot. So, hmm. Now, they might be trying to find out more about something, about how to do this. Because they feel mentally conflicted here with the Eight of Swords. So with that being the case, oh, I didn't even know I had a couple cards over here. Okay, let's see. Alright. So.
So they might be trying to find out something. It might be looking into something, researching something, investigating something. They could even be getting readings here because we do have the Page of Swords. That's very inquisitive, wanting to know something, looking into something, trying to find out something. Okay, let me get a charm on this Page of Swords. Oh, we have a, okay, look, we have the key going through the heart. You definitely have the, um, the key to this person's heart. That's the feelings here. But they want to know something. They feel like they're in the dark about something is what I'm getting. So look at that. We got the heart. We got the key. So you definitely have that with this person. They definitely feel for you. They, you have their heart. Okay, so now we're going to do the mutual feelings as far as feelings. Let's see if that, what we get on that. Reconciliation. So if you guys are not seeing each other right now, you broke up, there's going to be something coming together. You both want to come back together. This could be someone new too. So it could be that you just want to come together after you met. Want to um, yeah, make something happen here. Okay, you know what? Let's look at this devil card. Capricorn energy. Let's see, why is the devil here for your feelings towards them? Ooh, a very independent energy. Single, doing well. Um, this could be also someone doing well financially, doing their, maybe having their own business. Maybe you're seeing them as obsessed with their business or what they do here. That, you know, it almost feels like, you know, because the devil could also represent a workaholic. This could also be someone seeing someone with some kind of addictions. This could represent fear, lust, jealousy, obsessiveness, possessiveness. But you could be seeing, I think you might be seeing them as really um, maybe obsessed with what they do. Okay, let's see about this tower. Ooh, we have the Empress. So, in your side with the feelings, we have the Empress and the Emperor here. So, this person, there might be feeling that when you maybe express yourself to this person or come out about this person, it's going to cause a tower. Because I'm almost thinking that maybe you're the Emperor and you're thinking them the Empress. You can always reverse it. But it's like either... Uh, so, especially because the tower's here. So I'm thinking that if you express yourself, either you're going to be surprising them or you might be surprising everybody else. Because we have the secrets here at the moon. And this is also intuition. is keeping something quiet. A lot of emotions. Something could happen on the full moon, too. Let's see. Let's see about this moon card. You know, and another thing is we have... The Nine of Pentacles next to the Empress here. So you could be seeing this person like starting to grow their wealth. And it might shock everybody how much they do grow here. Because the Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. And the Empress is the most abundant card of the whole deck. So let's see about this moon. Oh, the lovers. Okay, there's this is a secret lover, isn't it? Okay. We have the moon here with the lovers. I would say there's something about this being exposed is going to be shocking. Okay, let's see about this. Um, because I think you are maybe someone in charge in a very influential position. Look at that. Yeah, this is saying it's you because here we have temperance again. So the Emperor is your energy. And it feels like you're trying to just keep things balanced, keep things right. But it's hard to do, it feels like. Okay, now let's move over to clarifying their feelings towards you. So they have the Justice card here. It's like they either want things to be on the up and up or they want something fair or they 
they want um, they want justice in the situation but they could also be saying yeah but I want a contract here I want I don't want just if this is like someone you're keeping hidden this person doesn't want to stay hidden we have here the Queen of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn so this person could be saying okay i want something more i i see a, you're, you're stable you're reliable you're the queen of pentacles to them you're very nurturing see we have they want justice though we have here what is this i'm not sure Let's see oh we have the um what is this a spade someone they want to dig something Go deeper, dig, or, I mean, this is like one of those type of shovels that like for like planting something here, like like bulbs or something. I don't know if they, they want to plant something. Okay, let's see. So with this person's feelings are being stuck, being trapped in their head over you. Let's see. We have here the Five of Wands. Okay, there might be something they're worried about. Arguments, fights, or competition. They're worried about some kind of upheaval, it seems like. Now, what about this page of swords? Okay, I did put a chart on that. Okay. Ah. Now they might be watching to see about maybe if you're going out with someone else. Or, this, or they might be wondering if there's... A chance to go. Can you be seen out in public together? Can you? Okay, let's see. I don't know why I'm looking at that. Nine of Cups underneath there's the wish fulfillment here. Okay, let me see something on this Queen of Pentacles. They might be worried about competition. They might be worried about who you're hanging out with when you're not with them. So we have here the X forget keeps the money. Okay, is there a situation with this person that you had some kind of money thing going on with them? Because here we have the ex and forget and keeps the money. Someone might be telling someone to keep the money. Or is someone's forgetting about money here? I don't know. Take it how it might resonate. Let's see. Keeps the money we have here. Yeah, someone's giving someone money and they might be telling them just to keep it. Forget about paying it back. Keep it. This is have something to do. This, this person could be thinking, if you're the ex or whatever, they might tell you to keep the money. You might be telling them to keep the money. Or it might be someone you're dealing with that may they know that you told them, forget about it, just keep the money, if that makes sense. Let's see about the Page of Swords. Break up. Finish. Message. Wow. Okay, so did someone not finish a message and now someone's going to finish a breakup message? Or some, okay, maybe they're thinking of sending you a message that maybe they broke up with someone, now they're finished? I don't know, you, you'll know what this means if it's for you. Because I could, I could play with that all night and that's not going to help. <laughs> it could mean anything. Okay, so now, let's see about what action you might take towards them. See what that is oh so you want to move towards them you want this movement you want something to happen okay and we have here now we have the nine of coins for um this is the independent this is entrepreneur energy i don't know are you trying to do your own business Maybe to, with them, towards them. I mean, because the Nine of Pentacles is doing something on your own, branching out. But it also could be money here. Oh, look at this. We have the Three of Swords with the King of Cups. There might be a King of Cups involved here. Okay, what we don't see here is there's an Ace of Wands. There's passion coming in. There's an offer coming in. Okay, so an uh, independent energy. There's something about a third party. Now, the third party could be a King of Cups that's coming in, or this could be just your energy towards them. 
Or is this King of Cups causing some kind of conflict with being with this person? Okay, let me get a charm with this King of Cups. Oh, we have, well, to me, this is probably a cow, but I'm using it as a bull. You might be dealing with a Taurus. You know, unless a cow makes sense. I don't know. A cow doesn't make too much sense to me. But maybe someone has a cow. It might mean something to someone. Um, just because it has the horns like that, I'm calling it a bull. So, let's go over to their side. And what action might they take? Unless, if we want, I don't know why I want, I usually don't do this, but the cow is sort of like standing out. No, I'm a cow. And saying, well, maybe it's saying that this is some kind of nurturing energy here because the cow gives milk. So it's nurturing. I don't know. Might be, might make sense to you guys. Let's see about the action that this person might take towards you is. Oh, there is a big change. Okay. The death card, Scorpio energy, endings, new beginnings, rebirth, major change. Okay. Okay, so we have here. Yeah, this person's at a crossroads to do something. We have here the Death Card and we have the Ten of Swords. This person is on the verge of ending something. Thinking about ending something. Making a major change here. Okay. Transformation, rebirth, but they're definitely ending something. That is, it almost feels like that has to happen for whatever reason. We do have a bond the deck we don't see coming. We have the Lovers, a choice card here too. Gemini energy, the lovers. This is what we don't see coming. Okay. Now, let's. Oh, the, the mutual feelings as far as action. Can we get on that? Balance. This card wanted to come out too because it's shaking. Balance and book. Okay, so I think you're both trying to balance things out. You want to balance things out, but you both need to gain knowledge before you do so. What we also don't see coming, there's something about money here. There's some kind of connection to money. Okay, that's weird. Maybe balance book money. Maybe balance finances. Ooh, maybe that's what that is. Maybe you're trying to balance your finances. Okay, let's start clarifying. The Eight of Wands, movement. Put this this way. This could be conversations, something come back and forth. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups of Magician. Okay, so you're trying to manifest something here, a celebration or some happiness here um, with movement forward. Now, why do we have the Nine of Pentacles here? Oh, my stomach's growling. Sorry. <laughs> ah. Why does it feel like someone's holding back about maybe they want the independence or something? Or maybe it's, it worries you that this person is independent? There is this stress here with this three of swords. It could be a third party energy here but we then we have the seven of swords and this very independent energy with the nine this is someone doing something on their own having their own start do you feel like this person's not being honest with you that they they might want to stay single i don't know i don't really feel that but maybe you do Okay, let's see about the Three of Swords to get an idea what's going on here. Three of Cups. Celebration, going out, having a good time. Okay, I don't know. I, I got a feeling 
Not going to be for everyone. But you both might be worried that if you're at a distance from each other, that when you guys are by yourself, that there's going to that someone's going to be cheating. Let's see about this um King of Cups. Okay, look at this. The King of Cups, there's a golden opportunity coming here. So you might be trying to build something up for a golden opportunity for this connection here. You're manifesting something. You're working very hard here. And we have this something coming up with this pentacle. Look at this. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing, Wheel of Fortune. There's passion here. There's money here. Okay, take if it resonates. Let me get the words on this um, King of Cups. options uh oh new start reunite realize okay i feel like you want to reunite with this person and you want a new start but i think you're both worried about other options on both sides it feels like you both have a strong desire for each other but why is it it does feel like maybe you're both going to have opportunities come up that might test this okay let's see Why is the death card here for their possible action towards you? Ooh, we have the star and we have the ace of swords. See, this person here might be in the limelight, might be getting attention. And um, they might be, because they speak the truth, they're going to speak the truth. There's something about justice, the person wants to speak the truth. Death card, ending, new beginning. They could be cutting something out. And it makes them happy or it brings them um, recognition, fame. Speaking their truth or being in their truth is bringing them recognition and fame. Okay, what about the two of wands? And at a crossroads here, need to make a decision. We have temperance. Well, that's your card. Maybe they, they need to make a decision that's going to bring their life into balance. Could be saying this is you, too, because of temperance. So what about this ending here? This ten of swords. What's that all about? Seven of pentacles. Yeah, they're reassessing, reevaluating. They might need to end something in order to harvest something. Okay, and what we have on the bottom? We have this ace of cups. Oh, yeah, so th what you don't, what they don't see coming is here. There's choice and love, and there's a lot of love coming. Ace of Cups, it's good. You have the Ace of Wands. They have the Ace of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune, and they have the um, the Lover's Card. And your mutual energy is something to do with money, if that makes sense to you. It feels like you don't see this coming. There's going to be a change in passion or Wheel of Fortune or something coming in here for you. And for them... They have this opportunity of love. Hmm. I think you both get attention from other people. And this might be there. That's why there's this obsessive and jealousy. You both might know it that each other gets attention. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to put that out there. It might be for you. It might not. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Placement, your chart. Ooh, placement. Other people try. Scorpio. <laughs> I'm not going to take them all, but I'm going to throw out Scorpio there because there's like four there. Okay. Um, so Scorpio wanted to come out. And this could be placement your chart, placement their chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Let's see if Scorpio comes. Scorpio comes out again. Or Scorpio might be just someone that wants to be known, wants to be seen by either you or your person here. Okay, let's see. We have, oh, Aries, but underneath there's another one, I think, right? Okay. Taurus and Aries. I'm going to take both those. All right. So it might be someone that has both Taurus and Aries in their chart. Sagittarius, there you are. Taurus again. Strong Taurus. I'm telling you, when I get the cow, I think it's the Taurus. But it could be a cow. <laughs> Aquarius. One more and then we'll do the bottom. Leo. 
And the bottom of the deck, we have Taurus. Oh my gosh, strong Taurus. Okay. So, the placement of your chart, placement of other people's chart, past, present, and future, we have Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Now we'll do the letters. <coughs> We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a male name, you know that male name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. Okay, there's E, W, M, I, R, H, Y, B, F, B, oop, and Q. Okay. So the letters we have for today are E, W, M, I, R, H, Y, B, F, B, Q. All right, guys. So... There's your reading. Let me know what resonates. Just take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. If you need to swap energies in certain parts, go ahead and do so. Because it is a general. It's not a personal reading. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.